Police still have a Dallas street blocked off where an undercover Arlington officer was wounded this morning in a drug task force operation. Right now, Sky 4 gives us a look at that Oak Cliff neighborhood where police are still gathering evidence outside of the home where the shooting happened. And all day, there's been a heavy police presence, including Dallas SWAT, in the neighborhood. The wounded officer was found five miles away at a gas station where he was taken for help after that shooting. Natalie Solis just got a briefing from Dallas police. She's first on Fox 4 News. Natalie, what do you know? Clarice, well, Dallas police are leading this investigation because the shooting happened in Oak Cliff. Uh, but because this was a federal task force on an undercover operation, information has been harder to come by. Uh, but I can tell you that even a casual observer would say uh, this officer shot twice, uh, once in the hand we know for sure is lucky to be alive. This dark gray Ford F-150 pickup caught in a hail of gunfire, at least 20 visible pock marks. First you're like boom, and then you're boom, 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 boom. boom. The unnerving wake-up call just after 6 o'clock in the 2700 block of Wilbur Street in Oak Cliff. I jumped up and I'm like, wow, you know. So I looked outside, looked at the window. An undercover Arlington officer was shot in the hand, witnesses say, running from the barrage of bullets. He said that he had got shot, he had got shot, and I'm like, are you all right, are you all right? Anthony Cisneros lives a few doors down. And he jumped in a black truck, and then another truck came, a red one, and then busted you and got behind him, and they drove off. We're told since these were not Dallas officers, they didn't know how to get to the nearest hospital, driving about five miles to this shell station instead, calling 911 on the way. Sources say the three officers were working with a federal task force called HIDA, or High Intensity Drug Trafficking Area. Since the shooting happened in Dallas, it leads the investigation, sending in SWAT. Cisneros took this cell phone video of DPD closing in, shields raised. We watched officers detain three people from the home, two men and a woman. It is not clear if they were involved in the shooting. As for the injured officer taken to Methodist Dallas. The officer's going to be fine. He's in good spirits. He's talking. The officer that was injured to know that we have his back 100%. We're praying for a speedy recovery. All right, well, Dallas police tell us that its special investigations unit is handling the investigation, and Arlington PD tells us uh, it will not be releasing the officer's identity because he works undercover. Clarice? Yeah, understood. But, Natalie, what can you tell us about that drug task force, that undercover drug, drug task force in that neighborhood? Right. Well, let's go ahead and go back to that Sky 4 uh, live pictures. They've been over the scene, and as we mentioned off the top here, police have been uh, there all day long, keeping media and cameras away from this house where this all went down. In fact, it's the first time that our chopper has been allowed uh, to fly over the house and actually see what's going on and, and see this investigation. Police did not want us earlier to reveal any of their uh, tactical moves. And while nothing is coming from official channels at this point about the operation, uh, sources do tell us that this officer may have been there attempting to place a tracking device on a vehicle. And then, of course, he was met by that hail of bullets.